Hi. Hey there. Hello. How are you? I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day so far. Today, good morning. It is the morning and I figured that this would be a perfect day for me to walk you through an entire CBD routine. Like what could you take in the morning to start off your day? What could you take in the afternoon if you feel like you need a boost or you have some symptoms of something that you're trying to curb? What kinds of things could you take in the evening that won't disrupt your sleep at all? Maybe even keep you sleeping for a hell of a lot longer so that you actually wake up feeling a lot more energetic and maybe not even needing as much CBD as you would normally take. So I have a lineup of seven products that I like to use regularly, not necessarily daily. Like I said, I only reach for the ones that I feel like I need. And uh, luckily, each of these products actually tell you what they're intended for on the label. They're purposely created for a very specific effect. So the very first one that we're going to try today, energy. It gives me my go. It also gives me my focus that I need to actually map out my entire day. I think it's well known at this point. I do have ADHD, so I have a really hard time actually mapping out my day, prioritizing, and then executing each of the steps. And I have a lot of things that I actually want to get done today. And I don't really feel like I have a whole lot. Does it look like I have a whole lot of energy? I talk fast normally, but I'm feeling a little bit lethargic right now. Um, so this is the one that I take first thing in the morning. And this is one that I do kind kind of sort of take every single day because I find it to be incredibly beneficial for me, my brain, my health, um, my happiness, and I love to keep my energy levels up. These ones are pink lemonade flavored. They do all have like this slight hempy taste to it. Um, I don't really have a concern with that at all. This is what it looks like. It's small enough to not feel like I'm eating candy for breakfast, but it's also big enough to make me feel like I get a little special treat for breakfast, you know? It's pink lemonade flavored. You're going to get 35 vegan chews in each of these bottles. Love these bottles because you can pop the top open like that. Fucking sweet. Also, these are completely THC free. You know what that means for you? If you need to take a drug test and you're afraid of trying CBD, this is actually the product that would work for you. It will not. Absolutely none of these products that I show you today will show up on a drug test and you're actually going to get the benefits of so many different types of CBD. So, all right, while that's kicking in, I'm gonna go jump in the shower and get ready and then we can go about our day. I have a little bit of work to organize. I want to make it to the flower nursery and I don't know. I heard that the ice cream at the local ice cream shop, the flavor of the week is coconut pineapple. So we're probably gonna go do that too. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm back. I'm ready. I'm ready to get the day started. I'm ready to get things done. So typically I would choose between two different products in the morning and energy happens to be my absolute favorite one. So there's a difference between energy and solace. Energy is formulated with CBC and it has a natural energy blend. I don't even think I told you why I like this brand so much. Um, so it is fully chemist driven. It's a small brand, but also like they use very minimal ingredients as necessary because they're optimized to actually absorb a lot better and to absorb a lot faster. You don't need nearly as much. So when this says it's only eight milligrams of THC free, completely THC free, it's not going to get you high. You could eat this entire bottle and you're not going to get high. So energy has six milligrams of CBC, two milligrams of CBN, 0.00% Delta 9 THC. And then it has, it's formulated with an energy terpene blend. That's the reason why these tend to work a little bit better. It's not just purely CBD, it's CBD, CBC, CBN, CBG, like all of the different cannabinoids and the terpene blend. This one has in it the myrcene, a piney, b caryophylline, and b pinene in it. Now, if I didn't feel like I needed energy, but I did still need a mood boost and um, focus and clarity and a reduction in stress, then I wouldn't necessarily go with this. I would go for solace. So this is the other one that I generally take in the morning or up to the early afternoon to help get me motivated to do the damn things. <laughs> this one has 28 milligrams of cannabinoids present. So it has CBG 20 milligrams, CBD V five milligrams and CBN three milligrams. And then also has the solace terpene blend, which is the B caryophylline, myrcene, apinine and D limonene. So this one's strawberry. Oh my God. It's so good. I love the smell, but yeah. So if you were to try to get motivated in the morning, I would suggest one of these two. If you typically like to drink caffeine, like drinking an iced coffee or your coffee or tea or an energy drink or or something like that in the morning is totally your vibe and you don't really want to give that up, try solace. But if you do actually need energy and something that's going to pick you up, then try 
the energy one. Um, I need to plan out the rest of my day. So I need to go to the grocery store. At the grocery store, I need to pick up my scripts. I also need to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner tonight because I have not planned that out. I need one for today, one for tomorrow. I'm kind of thinking because I have potatoes and asparagus that maybe I should pick up steaks, but that sounds really expensive and food costs right now are absolutely insane. So steak sounds like a terrible idea unless there's something that's on sale, but I could do meatballs, meatballs, mashed potatoes and corn. I fucking, I love corn. For another meal, I'm getting so bored with food. Um, lately, I go onto Pinterest and I find these recipes and I make them and they literally all suck. The chicken lettuce wraps that I did were good. The ham and cheese roll-ups that I did from Pinterest were disgusting. I've always wanted to do these like mason jar instant noodles. I don't, I doubt that they'd be any good, but I've always kind of wanted to do them. Maybe I should make like a Thai soup or something. This is another thing that I need to do. I want to be able to pre-pack things in marinades to just be able to like whip out and dump into a pan and it be done. I need my cooking to be easy in order for me to actually do it. So, okay, you know what, meatballs, for one, this looks like a really good idea. I'm gonna make like some sort of a stuffed pita. So I will need large pita. I'll need some grape tomatoes, feta cheese, um, lettuce, cucumber. Great, I'm glad we worked that through. Oh, we need to go to the post office and check the P.O. box. It has been a while. Wanted to go to the flower nursery. I need to get things for the two planters in the front. I need two hanging baskets for the back if they have any that are really nice because I like the baskets to actually be decorative. Um, I need a planter for my table, a small one, and then potentially two to four other basket things that will go on my porch to make that look nice. Um, I want to grab basil seeds. Those grow really fast and I use a shit ton of basil in the summer. That might be it. If I see anything else there that kind of tickles my fancy. Um, I need to plan out Melee. So I have this video coming. Um, it's the Melee Radioactive Diamonds, but I had reviewed these on my last channel, on my channel before it was deleted. And I, I wanted to make sure that I touched base on these in the same video, but I don't really know what to do. If I'm being completely honest, it's hard to like reinvent the wheel and to do something different and new and exciting that doesn't feel redundant um, when I'm reviewing edibles just in general. So uh, while they are so super different than any other edibles that I've ever tried and these things, I need to come up with a video idea on what to do with it. So I'm thinking for, you know what we could do? I could do this tomorrow. We could melee plant all the plants. Decorate the front porch. We'll do the front porch. Melee front porch vlog. All right, cool, we got that planned. Let's see, what else do I need to do? I need to post to Patreon. I actually have one of the videos fully done, so let's do that real quick. Here, scoot a little closer. Come on, hang out with me today. Um, we are going to go on to Patreon, and then we are going to hit posts and new. It's gonna be a video. Um, I have two to share today, actually, because I have two videos that go live tomorrow, Friday, and one's a Freaky Friday, because on my um, regular channel, uh, I do adult unboxings. So that's this one, the Full Sexual Wellness Experience Box. I am so shocked that they did not demonetize it. This one doesn't have a thumbnail yet. Let me go to the other one. All right, here we are. So for on, this one's my cannabis channel and um, I have this super chill backyard sash with hemp cartels and the chill bong. So I'm just going to share that link. I need the title. I always forget my bit.ly link too, so I have to grab that. Oh my God, I have like an itch on my leg. All right, then up here I get to say something. All right, so then that one is published. Sorry, that lighting was so weird for you for a minute there. Um, I'll have to do the other one in a little bit because, um, well, I mean, I could schedule it, but I still have to make a thumbnail for it. So actually make thumbnail for Bijou and the Scrats. All right, I've got a fuck ton of stuff on the list. Um, let's get our shit together and go. Quick outfit of the day. I've got on my knee on these cropped hoodies, some Fleo 
leggings. These ones are my absolute favorite because they actually are decent leggings. I've only got one pair. Maybe someday I'll invest in another pair, but then I also have my matching socks for my uh, MeUndies crop top. I love it. All right, let's go. First stop is the post office, and I think it's been more than a month since I've been here, which is no bueno. Look at that. Tiny ass little rural post office. It's not actually in my city, but it's one that's closer to my house, so I prefer it, and they're way nicer here. Not a whole lot. That's good. Well, no, we're good. Kind of a wasted trip. The only thing that was in there was recycling, but I got it recycled. Okay, so you know how I meant to grab a snack before I left? Because I knew I was going to be hungry and I usually have a car snack, well, I got in the car and there's no damn car snacks. So we are stopping for a snack. It's the ice cream place. And, and I know that their flavor of the week is pineapple coconut, which is like totally my jam. Don't judge. So flavor is actually coconut, not pineapple coconut. Coconut's still one of my favorite. I'm obsessed. Um, today is apparently the last day of this flavor of the week. So I might convince my husband to come back later and get another one and pretend like I didn't stop here. Also, the lady that is um, running it, I think she's one of the two owners, complimented my um, my shirt, which I usually don't get compliments on in this city because even though it's like wreck, it's still, um, I'm in a more conservative type city, a little bit older of a city. A lot of these people have um, war on drugs mentality. So they've been blocking out dispensaries and shops and stuff from opening up within my city for a while. So I generally get more looks than compliments, but this is good. <laughs> All right, next up, Meyer. All right, now I'm at Meyer. I actually feel quite energized and I feel quite focused. Even though I forgot my car snack, I still feel very productive and focused, which I normally don't without taking like, my Adderall, so this is, I don't know, I feel really good about it. I don't know, I'm getting shit done and it feels good. And I didn't take my Adderall, I usually have to take Adderall in order to feel this way and I'm not saying that this is a replacement because um, I that's not the case necessarily. But um, I do find it to be incredibly helpful for my focus and my productivity and my motivation to actually accomplish something because of my executive dysfunction, so yay. Grocery store now. <laughs> Quick pit stop back home because I got groceries that required being refrigerated and it got hot as hell out. So I'm going to change my shirt into a tank top probably. Do you want to see what $60 gets you in groceries in Michigan? I always find it kind of interesting for some reason or what like some people choose to purchase. So these are my scripts. I feel like I didn't really get shit and I went to what's considered like a discount grocery store. This is not a fancy grocery store. I did not purchase all organic, very slight organic items, um, all natural, cage-free, things like that. I didn't even get to go all out like I normally would want to. I don't go to Starbucks anymore because it was costing $5.65 or something per day. So instead, I've been making iced coffees at home using the Starbucks stuff when I can because it's $5 for this entire jug, but it went up from $4.19 to $5.29 now. That's ridiculous, but I got two of them because caffeine. <laughs> they didn't have any of my Rice Krispie Treat creamer though, but I did find this one and I was really feeling the coconut vibes today, so I figured I would get a coffee creamer. For tonight's dinner, I'm going to make the meatballs. I already had the mashed potatoes, but I needed a pound of the ground beef, and then you also need a package of ground pork. Neither of those are organic. I did get an organic package of sweet corn though on the side because you know when you have your meatballs you have to have your mashed potatoes and sweet corn. And then for tomorrow's dinner, I have the pita pockets, feta cheese, the grape tomatoes, I already had the chicken, I have the cucumbers, lettuce, and Italian dressing. I feel like I've got some basic ingredients, not even a whole lot of meat and I don't know, the extra things that my kid wanted, uh, veggie straws and we were out of butter. For $60, that's all I got. I feel like it's not a lot of food at all. Okay, cool. We need to head over to the nursery. Actually, I lied, we're not ready to go anywhere yet. I decided that it's that moment where I need to stop, take a second, assess, how I feel and I still actually feel really good. Usually a gummy will last you between four and six hours. You can kind of use that as like a good scale of 
when you may need to assess how you feel and if you think that you need to re-up on something and again it's really based on you and your day and how you go about it but for me like how I go about my day being productive in the morning well my kids are at school right now in the summer I'll have them all day but like I switch gears from like work to home um, on a fairly typical schedule like at 4 p.m. it usually switches over so right now it is exactly 4 o'clock in the afternoon and this is when like the energy one is starting to wear off for me and I still feel really good but I know that it's gonna take about an hour for something else to kick in my kids are gonna be home I'm gonna be wanting to kind of zen out a little bit and for that I usually reach for this one it's called calm and it doesn't actually like slow you down or demotivate you but it reduces your anxiety and allows you to unwind and breathe and that is one of the things that I absolutely love about the packaging is that it tells you on the side how much to take and when you need to take it right above the QR code so this one is raspberry flavored and I will actually Actually take one because I feel like I am gonna want to zen out a little bit mm. <laughs> it's so weird just like eating a gummy on camera because I feel like I can't skip I like to edit out pauses but I don't want you to think that I spit it out it doesn't really make sense so this one is made with CBD and CBG it has 10 milligrams CBD 10 milligrams of CBG the doses on each one are different the cannabinoids that are in each one are different it's because it's based on science and exactly what you need and the terpene blends in each one so this one has a calm terpene blend with B caryophylline myrcene and the D limonene in it and then the other one that I really like for midday is if you feel like it was a really bad day um, you need to kind of reset your later half of your day then you would reach for a reset. This one has 28 milligrams of cannabinoids in it, 20 milligrams of CBG, five milligrams of CBDA, three milligrams of CBN, and then it suggests that you take this to soothe your mind and body. And I feel like this one, while this one, calm is really good if you're slightly anxious and or want to kind of zen out, I feel like this one does it but more. Now, I don't drink alcohol, but a lot of people do. So when you have a hangover, the two that I would suggest and the two that my husband has tried and says that actually works is solace and reset. Now we can go to the nursery. Let's do it. Okay, so we actually have to be kind of quick about it. I don't know what kind of time I thought that I had, but um, I don't have as much as I thought. I can't see anything. It's so bright out here and I didn't bring my sunglasses. Okay, so we need a cart. This is the nursery. It is um, a locally owned, like family owned kind of spiel. And uh, yeah, we're about to find a whole bunch of shit. A whole bunch of flowers. I see some baskets. I should go there first. Oh, should I go there first? I kind of don't know where to begin because there's like stuff everywhere. And there's an entire giant greenhouse. And there's like another one all the way back there. <gasps> Shit. I hope what I end up picking, I'm not good at picking flowers and stuff. I pick like something tall for the back and it's partial sun. And then I pick something like a sweet potato vine that goes over the edge and then a succulent type and then like a floral thing that's always, and I do that two times. All right, this is what I've got so far. I have two tall purple-ish. I found two vining things and then I found a bunch of these petunias. And that I just wanted because it was really pretty. And I haven't seen any decorative baskets that I want. So I'm probably going to call it good here. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half since I took that Calm Gummy. And I really feel like it's fully setting in. And that the Energy one, it's 541. I took it at 4-ish. Um, I feel like it's really setting in. And that the Energy one is gone. And I don't really feel like a rush of energy necessarily. I also don't feel like I crashed at all. Like I still feel like I have a good level of energy, a good level of motivation. I feel happy. I feel motivated. I feel like... I'm gonna finish off the task list for the first time in so long. I never, legit never finish off my task list. So we have other things from the flower nursery that I couldn't get. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be on my own shit about that. So then the last few things that were on my list, post to Patreon, I need to do the adult one, the bijou one, but I have to make that thumbnail first. So let's do that. I absolutely despise making thumbnails. I hate them. Hate them with a passion. I know I'm not any good at them. I spend far too long doing them and I hate it. 
at least with this calm, um, my mood is elevated that I'm not completely dreading it and we're just gonna do it and we're gonna get it done. And I feel good about that. First, I have to pick a photo. I have this one or this one as far as holding the bag. I think I like this one more, but then I might actually like one of these where I'm holding a box. I don't, li I like where the box is in this, but I don't like my face in this. And then that one's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like my boobs are sticking forward too much. All right, I think it's between this one and this one. I'm gonna go with this. I don't know what words to put on. I never know what words to put on. I hate doing anything that's shock value. It's gotta be something that is going to make somebody want to click. Do I allude to like there being sexy things inside of the bag that you'd want to watch the video because you'd want to see what's inside this bag? What's in the bag? Should I write what's in the bag? That's so lame, right? I'm probably gonna end up with that. Sometimes I put on there like what the video is called or what's in it, but this one has like Bijou and Discrets is already on that and I'm going to not cover that up. So I'm gonna put words either across the bottom or down like the side. Should I just say adult unboxing? It's legit an adult unboxing. That's not in the title. That's also not in the description box at all. I hate that too. Do we like that font or no? Maybe I don't need words on it because there are ready words. So I'll put in the corner like 18 plus or adult I kind of hate that too. I'm going to I'm going to save it. This is what's going to happen. Mhm. Mm and then we're going to post this to pay. We're going to put it on there. We're going to post it to Patreon and if I sleep on it and I feel like changing it, then I still have tomorrow. I still have all night and I still have tomorrow to choose to change it. Okay. So I'm going to share it to Patreon. Freaky Friday. Publish. Cool. We have made a thumbnail unsuccessfully so <laughs> and also posted to patreon so really the only thing that i have left on my task list to do for the entire night is um get the other things from the flower nursery which i'm not going to go to another one they're gonna end up end up closing soon anyways because it's six o'clock most of them close by seven my assistant just came back from new york so she's sending me a whole bunch of emails of things to get caught up on so i'm probably gonna have to dip into that but first i'm just gonna start making dinner it's six o'clock my kids are home we have um i gotta check and see if they've got homework go through backpacks and all that jazz so yeah i guess i'll see you in a little bit when i'm all done with taking care of the fam because then it's gonna be time for a sleep gummy which i'm real looking forward to i'm gonna go make dinner love ya all right we're at the very tail end of the day and uh what i like to do at the very end of my day is roll out my back i know that sounds absolutely crazy but i have um a high buy for that and something that i do not suggest that you buy some people may find a lot of benefit in it sure but it's so expensive for what it is these are called the chirp wheels i bought a set of three i got this as a targeted black friday ad and i had a shit ton of back pain then and i was going to the chiropractor regularly and i was like you know what something's got to be better than this thing that i had been using and it turns out that nothing is better than this thing that i've been using these things i still use them because I can feel that they're stretching out the muscles in my back and I'm sure that that is beneficial and I'm starting to get a lot of back pain again and I really don't want to go back to the chiropractor for two reasons. One, I'm on the fence about the safety of chiropractors. Don't come at me for that. I've been going to chiropractors for years. I have a really good friend whose husband, well, he's also a really good friend who is an ER doctor who is vehemently against chiropractic care because he has to um, fix that situation too often but i don't think that chiropractic care is not good i just don't think that it's right for me right now after i roll on my back though it hurts like hell so i use this lovely stuff it's called vigor it's for your muscles and joints and it works absolute wonders on my back it has 1600 milligrams of cbd cbg and cbn plus essential oils in a natural cream everything's all natural everything's organic everything is actually healthy for you and they even have a broken down that it's about 37 milligrams per one gram dose which is approximately like one whole squeeze and that's what i put on my back and that works out so magically so i'm gonna um roll up my back those ones all kind of hurt like they're actually pushing i guess the whole point is that your spine goes into that little groove and then this part cushions and mushes on your muscles but 
I don't know, it does hurt, but I don't think it actually helps as much as I want it to, but I always do this one too. All right, so once I'm all done with that, I know that my back's going to hurt a little bit. So when you take the cap off this, you'll notice that there's a little um, thing right here that's covering that hole. Do not throw this away. Um, you know how lotion always gets that weird little hard chunk at the tip of it? That's what will happen to this. So if you stick that thing back in, then it won't... Um, that won't happen. This is one pump or about one gram and it goes pretty far. So the point on my back that's been hurting me the most is right here. So just rub it all in and you don't even have to like, well, I don't have to massage it in or anything now because I just did that, but it rubs in really nice. It's not greasy at all. It kind of feels like a body butter. It's like that kind of thickness. It doesn't smell like menthol. It smells like, um, like wintergreen mints. And being that it's not greasy, you could just take your shirt down right away. See, it's like not going to stick. All right. So the last thing that we have to try would be the sleep gummies and now that it's nine o'clock at night we are ready for these this is cbd plus cbn this one's my favorite flavor because anything grape is like i'm obsessed with and they taste so good oh my favorite and the way that it's broken down it's 16 milligrams of cbd four milligrams of cbn and then it has the sleep terpene blend which is the d limonene myrcene b cara Caryophylline, linalool, and pea piney. <laughs> I missed all those up. Okay. So yeah, it's not going to make you go to sleep, but when you do go to sleep, it's a lot more restful and it's a lot more, it's like a solid sleep for a lot longer. And at least you won't wake up groggy. I do love that part of it. You don't wake up feeling groggy or out of sorts or having to take an energy one or a solace one in order to kickstart your day. You don't need to take anything if you feel great in the morning. So that is one thing about CBD and we have all these different ones that we tried. You don't need to take CBD every single day, but you should take it when you feel like you actually need it. And in the morning, if you're feeling great, then go ahead and totally skip any CBD in the morning. If you're feeling great still in the afternoon, then skip that. If all you need is help sleeping, then just grab some sleep ones. If all you need is help getting yourself some energy or a little bit more of like a mood enhancer energy focus and that kind of thing then get energy or solace and if you feel like you're normally anxious or you have a lot of anxious triggers and something that you're trying to work through or your mood lately maybe your hormonal imbalance or your mood just from things that are happening in the world then I would say calm or reset if you only could get one of these, I would, my boat would be on solace. I feel like this one helps me the most. It does give me a little bit of energy, but it also keeps me focused and motivated throughout the entire day, which is my biggest issue. Um, next up would probably be energy and then sleep, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And that's it. So we do have code Christy25. If you use the link, then you'll automatically save 25% off of your order. No, the code is ChrissyRocks25. I'll make sure I have it correct on the screen. All right, thank you all so damn much for being here. Huge shout out to all my patrons for making this possible. Big shout out to Santier for coming up with CBD that actually makes sense or CBD, CBC, CBG, CBN, all of those that actually make sense that actually serve a purpose and to all of you for being here. Please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Love ya. Bye.